All right, so for this video, I was asked by a subscriber <clears throat> to elaborate. See, I wrote it down. Let me just, uh, so it says, he wrote, talk about, the, uh, talk about the difference about where you live to where you're from. I've kind of covered this in my previous videos, but I'm going to go more, I guess, more in depth. I guess more a simple explanation to it. Um. Uh, so let me just, I'm going to use examples. I'm going to use myself as an example just to kind of give you clarity. So to answer this question, it's like this. You know, you got to understand. Level number one. Who was here before anything and anybody was Aslan. Once Aslan was here, Aztecs immigrated south. They built the Nochitlan. The Spaniards came, they caused all that conflict and war, they started immigrating north, started started leaving their missions all around. Once that was settled, the Europeans came from the east coast. They started coming from the east coast, started taking over. Um, Mexico Santa Ana asked them to pay rent, they refused. So Santa Ana gathered his troops, women and children to settle once they beat the Texans. They were slaughtered in their sleep. Santa Ana was forced to sign off Texas. He was sent back to Mexico. Um, and when, you know, he was upset, so he kept sending, you know, uh, guerrillas to attack us, to punk on the, the, uh, the, uh, the Texans. The Texans asked Santa Ana, what, you know, to give them annexation. And Santa Ana agreed like, okay. You'll be a country of your own, but you cannot join anybody else. So, the reason why I'm telling you this is I want you to understand something. There's been times when I ask people, hey, where are you from? Oh, I'm from California. All right, cool. I'm like, I'm not asking you where you live. I'm asking you where you're from. You see, everybody immigrated from somewhere. We all have an origin. So when I ask people where you're from, I'm not asking you where you live. I'm asking you where were you? Where you? Where's your grandparents from? Not even your. Not even like when people ask my son, oh, where, is, where are you from? He's gonna say, Villa Hidalgo, Jalisco. That's where my bloodline comes from. See, we gotta go based off the bloodline, that chain. We gotta go down to the roots. A tree, the top of the tree is no different than the roots. It's the same tree. It's the same thing. It doesn't change just because it's on top. It doesn't make it any different. So that's what I mean by where you live is different than where you're from. You know, so if people were to ask me, like, oh, where are you from? Well, I live in California. Okay, where are you from, though? Oh, I'm from Villa Largo, Jalisco. Oh, right on. That's the difference. Because remember, being an American is not a race. It's a nationality. Everybody coming to the States, yes, it makes you an American, but everything's the Americas. You know, um, this country, upon control of the U.S., you know, um, it's just a nationality. You know, um, you know, but what I'm trying to explain here is a lot of people have a hard time answering that. So when people ask you, where do you live? That means, where do you live? Where you from doesn't mean where you live. It means where you from. Where do you come from? Where does where, where, how can where, how, how back, back do you trace your roots? It's important for you to know this so you know where you've been, you know where you're at, and you know where you're going. I'm a big believer in that. So just to clarify all this up and wrap and sum it up, when where, where you live is where you live. Where you're from is where your parents or your grandparents are from. Where did all where where did it all start? It did you just didn't magically appear, you know, in in, in, Te in Texas, Arizona? You didn't just magically. It doesn't work like that. It's important that you know where your bloodline comes from, so that you never forget who you are. You know, if you're from Africa, trace it back to Africa. If you're from like you know, you're from India, trace it back to India. Everybody immigrated after the U.S. took over. Yes, Mexicans were here. You know, you know. Unfortunately, we lost the, the, every. I don't. I'll, I'll get into it in a separate video. I'll explain the U.S. American War. I'm gonna start doing a lot of his, videos on history, but for now, 
just to answer that question. Where you live is not who you are. Make that clear. Where you live is not where you uh, is not who you are. Where you're from is who you are. I know most people are not gonna like this because they're so ingrained in their system and in their minds that no, I'm I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, and I'm that. And it's fair. I'll respect it. You're entitled to your own opinion. But if people are asking me, I'm gonna answer, and a lot of my answers you're not gonna like. So, where you live. It's different than where you're from. So people ask me, hey, where do you live? I live, in, I live in Greenfield. Or I live in, you know, I live in California. Or I live in, in uh, Monterey. Or I live in San Francisco, San Jose. Where are you from? Villa Hidalgo, Jalisco, Mexico. Because that's where my parents come from. That's where my grandmother comes from. I have all my family there. Regardless if everybody somehow immigrates to the States. Knowing, hey, we came from here. We came from there. That's originally who. That's who we are. But we live here. That's different. You see, it's important for everybody to embrace who they are. Embrace it. It's a beautiful thing. You're being a, a U.S. citizen is not a race. In, the the Euro, Europeans immigrated here. They're immigrants too. You know, but I won't get too much into that because that's a very touchy subject and I don't want to disrespect anybody. But if anybody asks, I'll get into it. But nobody's asking, so I'm just going to leave it alone. But, uh, but yeah, so where you're from, different. No, where you live, different than where you're from. Where do you live? Here, where you're from. It's not the same place. I want you guys to understand that. Understand that. Simple. So if you don't know where you're from, have a sit, have a talk with your parents, man. Have a talk with Tom, to be honest with you. I don't know, like I've, like I've said in my first video, it's the parents, man. It's the parents who are ashamed. It's not even you. It's the parents who, who choose to, to mold you to something that you're not. You know, sometimes it's important to have this conversation with our parents. Why do they do the way, things that they do? Why do they withhold who you are from me? And try to instill something in you that you're not. It's important to know. So you can understand. I'm not saying judge them. I'm not saying. I'm trying to understand where they're coming from. Maybe they're ashamed. Maybe they're ashamed. Maybe they just don't want to be there. You never know. I mean, these videos are not to judge anybody. They're just to educate you. And But a lot of the education, is it's going to go against what you already have conditioned. It goes against your conditioning. So sit down, have a talk with whoever knows and be like, hey, where are you from? Not where you live. Where are you from? Where do we come from? Because that bloodline don't change, man. Even if, you know, let's say you're African and you live in, uh, in Canada. You're African living in Canada. That's it. That is it. That's honestly, that's it. You know, it's like I said before, you know, Chinese living in Mexico doesn't make a Mexican. No. Mexican is a race of people who are mestizos. Africans is a race of people. Europeans, Spaniards, Asians. If I live in Asia, it doesn't make me Asian because I'm not Asian. I just live there. I have citizenship there. I have nationality to live there. But it doesn't make you it. I hope this answered the question. It's actually a good question, a recap. You know, to elaborate, if you guys want clarification on certain things and just focus on certain subjects, like I always say, ask a question or make a video. I'll do it as fast as I can. Um, and to the new subscriber, thank you. I hope I can teach you something. I hope you can, uh, you know, if you have any questions, you disagree with a lot of things, I'm open to anything. I'm open to anything. You're not going to disrespect me. I mean, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, I hope I don't disrespect you and hurt your feelings. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for uh, being active on my channel. You know, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer either on the spot or when I have time. I'm a very busy man. I have a lot of things going for myself. And um, so I try to do this early in the morning. I wake up, check my emails, or I write down what my coworkers tell me. And I'm like, all right, I'll make a video tomorrow morning, you know. And yeah, so thank you once again. 
God bless each and every single one of you. Subscribe, share, talk to your buddies about it. Even if they disagree, it's okay. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Do not get offended if they don't agree. Not everybody's meant to agree. Not everybody's meant to know the truth. Have a good day.